happy October. It's hard to intro this because I don't really have any plans. I have some ideas, but this is, if you couldn't tell by the title, <laughs> a Halloween tutorial. And when I do these, I am not very good at like talking through them. So I'm gonna try my best to explain what I'm doing, but I'm also gonna like tag things on the screen so you can know what I'm using and just watch and hopefully follow along because like I said, I don't really have big plan. I already have my silk on and then I have put a little bit of tinted moisturizer on areas that I have redness and then I did have mascara on from earlier today so that's what that's that's why that's on there otherwise I probably wouldn't start with mascara on. And here's my inspo. So last year I did like a creepy skull not really it was just kind of like a dead zombie type super easy to do. I did it so last minute for Halloween. So I did that on my full face last year. And then two years ago, I did like a half skull, half um, like pretty girl type thing. And so this year I saw a, like a glammed up kind of skull on uh, Pinterest. And so I want to incorporate like all of those things that I've done. So I'm gonna kind of do more of a glam up skull. It's not like, it's not a sugar skull. And then I'm gonna glam it up a little bit and then I'm also gonna incorporate like probably a section of my face. Maybe like this eye will be pretty. Or maybe this eye, I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. I will post, I'll show the pictures that I'm kind of going off of. So this is what I did last year. So that is, that was me on Halloween last year. This was my first attempt at Halloween makeup, and it's like that half face. And then this is like the glam skull that I saw this year that I want to go off of. So, kind of just doing everything. Just a whole combination of it all. And I don't think I'm going to do purple, I think I'm going to do like teals and blues. Something cool like that. So, I've got my, got my drink. Got my soda. Soda? I don't know why I said it like that. Got my soda. Do you call it soda or pop? I think that depends on where you live. I call it soda. All right, here we go. I am going to put some foundation in like this area. I think I'm gonna do this eye pretty. This is my better eyebrow. <laughs> so this is what's gonna be pretty. So I'm gonna put foundation in that area. I'm starting with candlelight to color correct underneath my eye. I'm using some cream beige make sense foundation. And I'm using a smaller brush to apply it. I normally use a flat top kabuki when I'm doing all over my face, but I'm gonna use the Sigma F64. This is a concealer brush, but I don't want it all over my face this time. So I'm just gonna use a smaller brush. And I am gonna have some white overlapping, but I wanna make sure that I get a good base down in the area because I want this part like kind of peeking through the white and it's easier to put this down first than to do the white first and then have to try and maneuver my way through. I'm gonna do a second layer so it's really good coverage. Starting with Mocha Java, this is Mocha Java Shadow Sense. On an E35 fluffy brush, my go-to. Blending it pretty high because I'm. This is going to be pretty dramatic. See, the farther out I take it, the bigger my eyes look. So that's why I'm taking it out so far. Like, it's an optical illusion. <laughs> I'm taking Rustic Brown. This is a limited edition Shadow Sense color. I like it because it's more of a cool, neutral toned brown. This is a E25 blending brush. Going back to my E35, no additional product, but I'm just using this to blend the two colors together. Okay, now I'm taking Turquoise Shadow Sense. This is another limited edition color. That is amazing. I'm going to take it on, this is an E55 flat shading brush. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product, press it down into the outer half of my eye, closer to the lid, but I am gonna bring it up into the crease area, just keeping it low. Color. So beautiful. 
Whatever I do on top, I usually like to bring on the bottom as well. I'm taking a clean E25 brush and using that to blend out the edges. You can see I'm not bringing it all the way in. I'm gonna keep this inner part for some glitter. I'm gonna go in with another layer. Taking a little bit more on my E25, my fluffy brush, I just wanna build that color intensity. to dab into a little bit of denim. This is our dark navy blue color. And just deepen it up just a tad. Same flat shader brush. And then I'm actually gonna go back into turquoise. I feel like the denim kind of took over the turquoise. And blending. All right, I'm taking a cut crease brush. This is the E62 in Candlelight Shadow Scents. So see how it fits like perfectly right in there? I'm just gonna stamp it on. Lightly, lightly blend the edges right in here. And this is just gonna be a base for a color that I put on top of it, so I'm not too worried about how perfect and crisp it looks. I just really want the color that I'm putting over top to be like boom and to really shine and not get like muddled in the mess of the blending. So over top of the candlelight I'm going to put Seafoam Shimmer Shadow Scents. This is another limited edition. So I'm taking the same cut crease brush, taking a product off of the wand and just pressing it over top of fun is that taking this brush that I used with denim and turquoise and just lightly tapping out that edge to blend it. There's no extra product on here. I'm just blending with it. So I want a lot of color payoff, so I'm not blending too much all over. That's why I'm using a flat brush to stamp it on, but I do still like the edges blended. So I kind of let it sit for a little bit and then a fluffy brush I go in and blend out the edges. So now I'm gonna go in and add my concealer underneath my eyes now that I'm done mostly with my eyes I am gonna add a like an eyeliner probably but I'm done with all the blending and the colors so I'm going to take light and white concealer and mix the two I'm doing equal parts so I like to mix it with the back of my brush or you can use your fingers too either one dab it on and then use my brush to blend it. This is the F64. I'm blending in this V shape and I'm not taking it obviously all the way up to my lower lash line since I already have a bunch of product there, but I am going to use it right here on the edge to clean up and sharpen up that line. Now that that's down, I'm using natural powder to finish it. See if I'm shimmer underneath my eyes as well. I like to make it match, you know? Get a little bit of snow on that inner corner. Brighten it up. Okay, now I'm taking black eye scents. Alright, I'm taking an E21 little smudge brush with just a dab of Onyx shadow scents. I'm going to apply it just barely underneath my lower lash line right in here. It helps open your eyes just a little bit. It connects your bottom lash line to the wing. I'm going to use Rustic Brown. I used it on my eye in the crease. I'm using this for my brows as well. It's like the best brow color for so many people. It works for blondes, brunettes, black hair would work. It's just such a good color. And this brush that I'm using is the E65. It's my favorite brush for brows. Okay, so now I'm gonna take E15 flat brush, a little bit of sandstone pearl shadow scents, and use this to carve out my brow and give it a little more definition. It's 
brush them on this back end. Okay, I am gonna put on some false lashes at the very end, so I don't want to, I don't wanna do that now, but I'm gonna put on some under scents and lash, oh, well, I'm just gonna do lash scents actually. If I was wearing this all day and all night, I would do under scents, but since I'm going to take this off probably right away, <laughs> I'm just gonna do some black lash scents on my bottom lashes. I'm actually mixing Snow Shadow Scents with our white concealer just because I like the texture that it makes and it's a little bit easier and creamier to blend. And this is just my personal preference. You could use one or the other, but if you only have one or the other, totally fine. You don't need to get both. I'm mixing equal parts on just the lid. This is the 40 HD Kabuki. It's kind of like a pyramid shape. You could really use any Kabuki brush. I'm gonna apply it. So my eye area is going to be dark. I'm not worried about putting white in that area. I ate a blue airhead. I did that to blend with this makeup look. Okay, I'm gonna give myself some contour and I'm using deep moisturizer. I want it more precise, so I'm actually going to use a, a concealer brush to apply it. This is the F64. And I like how small it is, but it's still fluffy, so it'll still blend nicely. I'm gonna do this pretty intense. The side I'm gonna darken and shade and everything. So oh, I'm using this to kind of break it up and this is going to have some darkness right there. I'm going to go in more with the Onyx Shadow Scent so I'm not too worried about that line being so harsh. That's intense. This is just a fluffy, this is an FL5, no product on it. I'm just using this to blend tops in that area. And then let's go ahead and add a little bit of blush. I'm going to use Toasted Rose Blush Scents and this is a... F80 Flat Kabuki Air. It's like their new concealer's brush. Let's do some highlighter while we're there. Pearlizer and this fan brush is the F42. This eye is just going to be dark. So I'm grabbing Onyx Shadow Scents and this brush. This is E25. It's a fluffy brush but it's going to work to pack on color, and then I'm going to use it to blend out the edges as well. I'm just packing and blending all the way around. Okay, dipping into turquoise with a different e, E25 brush, and blending that around the edges. With this type of look, you just have to start shading and then you can add details later. So it looks kind of crazy until the end when you like finish it up with the details. Just a lot of blending and adding. I can like see darkness around this eye when I look places. It's a little more snow white concealer mix. So this is rustic brown. I feel like that looks like very brown on top of the white. I'm gonna do just a little bit of onyx. Okay, remember how I said lots of shading? So I'm taking this E25 brush, grabbing some onyx, to kind of outline where the edge of the white and like the pretty <laughs> face meet. And just shade it so lightly. So I'm holding my brush like flat to my face as if I was going to pat it and pack color on. 
I'm just barely kind of tapping and rubbing, I guess. I'm grabbing a little bit of sea foam, sea foam, <laughs> sea foam shimmer on an E25, and I'm using it to highlight kind of around the edges of the eye. Also dabbing it in the center. It's not going to show up like as bright as this eye, but it's going to just add a little. Make it look like my skull's trying to be kind of glam, you know? It's seriously just all about so much shading. <laughs> lots and lots of shading. This whole side of the face that I'm doing could totally just be done with two colors. I don't even need to do all like the glam and the extra. You could totally just do this with two colors and make it really, really cool. Another tip I have <laughs> is don't focus on one thing for too long. If you are like getting frustrated or you can't like figure out how to make something work or it's just not looking right jump ahead to something else and then come back to it so right now i'm like that shading's not like how i want it but that's okay i'm going to jump ahead to something else and then i'm going to come back i'm just taking onyx shadow sense on a e65 this is the same brush that i used for my brows and i'm just flicking add some detail right here Pretty shaded this area, but it adds more detail to it. I need to white out my lips, and because they're so red and pigmented, the red's gonna show through if I just put red straight on top. So I'm actually gonna color correct them with the green concealer. Since green is across from red on the color wheel, it's going to cancel out the redness in my lips. And then I can go over top with my snow mixture. That's crazy. This is all like crazy cool detail. I'm a little nervous to try it, but we're just going to go for it. I'm going to use Seafoam Shimmer as the teeth. Hope it looks good. They're always kind of bigger at the bottom and then kind of go up to a point. That's like where the root of the tooth is. Not like a total point, just skinny. No brush, I'm just using it straight from the wand. I don't like the way this is looking right here, so I'm using a Foops makeup wipe and I'm going to take it off and redo it. I'm going to give it a break and work on this part. This picture that this girl, this glam girl has, like this cool detailing right here. I'm going to try and recreate that.
Okay, so I mixed up some more snow and concealer. I'm using a flat definer brush. This is the E15. And I'm using it to basically just carve out this section right here. And give it a, a nice, like, straight line. love all this back here. Not take it off completely, I'm just gonna clean it up. Okay, I'm gonna work on the teeth. This is onyx. I'm just using it to shade like between the teeth so that they're separated. And this brush is the E65, the same brush I used for my brows and this. <laughs> done. Taking my E25 with some more onyx and adjusting it on the center. Just need to shade my jawline. Shadow sense on the waterline. And for those of you that wear contacts, I wear contacts too, and this only bothers me if I stab myself. <laughs> Otherwise, it does not get on my contacts. So if you're a contact wearer that can't do waterline, try shadow sense. I am going to put on some black lash scents. I feel like I need to add things. I don't know what else to add. Maybe some little like cracks and lines. Oh, nose, duh. I would do the nose. Nose is Onyx Shadow Sense. Look at my hand. This is what I've been doing. I just put it right there. It's so easy to just pick it right off of there when I'm using a lot of it. While that's drying down, I'm going to put on some lashes. These are velour lashes in the style Here to Slay. <laughs> I can't smile. I'm using the House of Lashes Lash Glue. I'm obsessed with their lash glue. It's the best I've ever used. So they have two types. They have a black and a clear. I'm using the clear one. You can see it goes on kind of bluish and then it starts to dry down. I feel like lashes just make everything look better. The very last piece. The very last piece is I'm going to tap on some uh, seafoam shimmer <laughs> shadow scents onto my nose.
Oh, I love the way it turned out. I'm gonna go put some curls in my hair and I will be right back to show you the whole finished look. This is the finished look. Guys, I'm like obsessed with it. I love the way that this turned out. It's so fun. If you guys like this look as much as I do, I can't take myself seriously when I smile. Please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on notifications so you can see my next video. Thanks again.